My name is Sarah Hector, and I'm a member of the Swedish Ski Federation. And I'm a brand ambassador of Sinsino. Um, you know, to describe myself, I would say that I'm, I'm an energetic person. I, I really love when things are happening, like in life when it's not, not boring. You know, for sure, I like to be, always to have goals and to work really hard to achieve them. And, and sometimes it doesn't really matter what kind of goal, goal it is, just that I have something to really look forward to and to work very hard to reach. And, I think that's uh, for sure one thing that's uh, typical of me. I had some tough times, and but I, I was really clear in my mind what what I wanted to do. And I once I went out of a race and I stand beside the course and I looked at the other girls and I realized like actually they didn't ski so well as I thought that I had in my mind somehow set up their level so high that I thought that I wouldn't be able to do it myself. And when you set those limitations on yourself, like believing I can't really perform what I feel like I need to perform, it's easy to try like too much. And, and then you're never reaching your highest potential because you don't believe in yourself. And with being insecure, it's really tough to, to ski on your best level. And, I guess already at that age I understood a little bit about focus on what I should do and, and really stay, stay focused on, on what's important. Really having fun for sure, it's so important and, and I think this time I could enjoy it a little bit. I mean, I've been working for such a long time and to be able to stand there and feel that I was on that level, it was, it was really cool, but for sure I was super nervous. Can't really remember so much but I'm always looking out a little bit, like one, two minutes, it's, it's pretty close. I mean, then it's the, the focus of sure getting narrower and, and you're having lots of adrenaline pumping. You can almost feel your heart. It's like the whole body is super tense. And, and then for me, it's just also I need to calm down. I need to try to find my focus. And I think the most important thing is, is how, you, how you handle it and how you react when it's coming and and if you stay calm that's really important too to keep a, make a plan stay stay strong to it as long as you can and and not to start doubting about everything else or what everyone else is doing because this i think it's really really easy to get stuck in social media you can pick up the phone and you can scroll around and you can see what everybody else is um, doing and feeling that that you are doing less and, and it's really easy to get stressed by that. And if you're really taking time to analyze, taking time to understand why it happened and how you, you, you actually can grow from it and, and get even stronger out of it. And my mom, is, she's a really good role model for me in this. She, she's um, unfortunately sick in ALS and it's a really tough sickness, which is uh, attacking the nervous system. She's so strong uh, with looking at what she can do and how she can use the day and uh, how she can do things to stay positive and to stay focused on the things what she can do. And I think that's really important when you're having setbacks and maybe limita limitations to take the time and, and really try to bring out the positive things from it. And, and just accept the circumstances and then focus on what can I do actually now. Yes, I would say I have some people who really made a big difference for me in my career. It was my coach when I came in in the junior team, in the Swedish ski team. And he put up a rule that if if I was uh, saying something negative about my skiing, I wasn't allowed like, to train or we really had to stay positive and to really work on the things which we did good. I've been uh, in general staying really healthy the last 
years, but extend and uh, ascent, that's for sure. The, the ones that I think are, they're really convenient. I'm traveling a lot and I can have them with me really easily. They are not heavy and, and I don't need to have a refrigerator all the time. So it's, uh, it's working no matter what, where I am in the world. And, and um, it feels like they are complementing each other and, and I feel like that's perfect. I can promise it's more or less like 99% in the attitude and, and if you have the right attitude you work hard and for sure it's super important to love what you do and have fun on the journey otherwise it's really tough to do it all the time and it's not going to stay for a long time I mean it's I think that's really important so find something you like and then work hard for it and that's why it's, it's in the attitude. Yes, yeah, I've been so happy to have you guys sharing for me and having, having everybody on board. And I've, I've been feeling like I have a great, great support from you. And it's uh, been so fun. We are working really good together. And I'm really looking forward to keep on working with you guys and, and make uh, lots of good things together. Because it's in the attitude and we have the possibility to, to do lots of cool things. So yeah, thank you for all the support and uh, let's go.